let's get our acceleration here. Boom. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over a Toyota Camry all-wheel drive. That is right, a Camry with all-wheel drive. Super excited to drive this, but as always, a huge shout out and thank you to Brent Brown Toyota for providing us with the Camry. Check out their inventory in the link below. Let's get right into the video. Under the hood, we have a 2.5 liter four cylinder that goes to an eight speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 25 around town and then 34 on the highway with power outputs being 202 horsepower and then 182 pound feet of torque. Now let's go over the front end of the Camry. So the first thing, I really like the hood, just those two body lines that come down, makes it look a lot more muscular. You can see the lights on this. So even though this is just the LE package, the lights actually look pretty nice. Do have the nice projector bulbs, but going over to the center, you can see the Toyota logo and you can see everything's pretty much blacked out on the front end of this car. Definitely gives it like a nice, sporty, aggressive look. Now around the side here, we've got two 15 millimeter tires on 17 inch wheels in the front and in the rear as well. Other than that, the setup's not too crazy, but remember this does have all wheel drive. So what I would recommend is make sure that all the tires match, all that kind of stuff, just saying. You see, you can actually put a mud flap right there, which is pretty interesting. And then other than that, everything's pretty much all blacked out except for the wheels, which is interesting. Toyota, you probably should have blacked out the wheels, but you know, it is what it is. Here's the key fob for the Camry. You can see a Toyota logo on the back, and then you've got the unlock, the lock, and then you got the release for the trunk and the little key that pops out of it. But if you hold this down, you can see the trunk will pop right open, which is pretty neat. And you can see you got the rubber floor mat here in the back. And then when you get the rest of the back, you can see storage space is actually pretty decent. Now, underneath this floor mat, you can see that there's that little tab right here. You can pick this up. And then you can see just underneath there, you've got a little bit more storage. And then all the stuff, if you ever get left on the side of the road because you blew a tire or something like that. But that's all for the back. And see ya. I totally messed up on closing that fully. But anyways... All-wheel drive badging, that's the way you can tell this is all-wheel drive. You got the little exhaust tip there at the back. And other than that, nothing else has changed here in the rear from a stylistic standpoint, just like any other Toyota Camry. So it looks pretty cool. Now coming here to the side, you can see the door panel. So got kind of like soft touch there on the side of the door panel. And then this is the LE package. So you've got the cloth seats here, which you've got the darker gray. Well, it's kind of like more of like a black, but it's actually well, it's actually like pretty much a really dark gray then kind of like a lighter gray and let's pop in so stepping in oh got a duck as usual if you guys are wondering about 511 headroom is pretty decent in here there's my leg room and you can see the rubber floor mats that i'm standing on no vents just a little empty storage space thing but you got to squeeze your fingers in there pull that out you got the cup holders and well that's everything for lay back Coming up front, as you can see, we've got no keyless entry or anything like that. Just pretty normal, pretty standard. Opening it up, you can see the door panel here at the front. Looks pretty close to what's in the back. I do like that silver trim that goes all the way to the door handle. All of your controls for the windows, mirrors, all that fun stuff. And then here's the seat at the front. And there's kind of like this little stripe down the middle, which is interesting because it's a different texture than the rest of the seat, which I noticed. Like, you have the texture here, which is pretty similar to this. This is a little bit rougher. And then this is like smooth just random but there's the full seat there's the adjustments on the side of the seat and then here's what the pedals look like at the bottom got the little hood latch release stability control you got a little thing for the lights and then your release for the trunk and then the gas and there's one more look before we pop in well watch out it is a regular key so you just put it in like that twist it and everything comes to life now here's the steering wheel in the Camry, so it's kind of like rougher touch all around the steering wheel, no stitching or anything like that. Got your cruise control right here. That is your collision assistance, lane departure assistance. This is for the radio controls. Phone controls, voice commands on the other side. And then you can see over here, you've got the stock for the lights. And then you have the stock for the windshield wipers. And let's go to the center gauge cluster. So popping in here, you can see you've got RPMs over there on the left side and the right side, you've got the speed. And then here in the center, just gives you different bits of information on the Camry. Pretty straightforward. Most of the Toyotas have this, nothing crazy happening here. So that's all for that. And it's getting kind of late in the day for me. Fake news, it's actually 2.36 and not 4.36, whoops. But anyways, popping it into reverse, you can see that you've got the backup camera. The trajectory lines do not move with the steering wheel resolution. That's pretty solid. It's cool how you can see the uh, Camry right there on the backup camera. I think that's a pretty nice little touch. 
With the rest of the screen, response time on the screen is actually pretty decent. So with the buttons, when you press it, things happen pretty instantly. Now with the screen itself, again, response time you can see is pretty solid. No music, can't get copyrighted today, fellas and ladies sorry i know there's some ladies that watch these videos but anyways with the rest of the screen it's pretty solid you can see the little map on it oh it doesn't have navigation my bad down here you've got the controls for the climate system it is a single zone climate in the camry pretty easy to use nothing crazy happening there and then coming down here you can see you've got a little charging area for it and then you could use this as some storage right here and you open it up and there's even more storage oh Pretty crazy, right? Got a couple cup holders right here. This is the shifter for the eight-speed automatic transmission. You have the dual shift mode if you would like to shift the gears yourself. Auto hold right here, you've got the parking brake. And then here is the center console, which opens up like a normal center console. Charge more devices in it. And closing that up, we can come over here to see the glove box, which is a regular glove box. Got nice stitching and kind of like soft earth touch here at the top. Got the wood trim right there at that part of the top, which is pretty neat looking and well, that's actually all of the interior. Popping up top, we've got the little sunglass holder. Not so little, actually. It's like awkwardly big, especially like the front lip of it. But anyways, other than that, there's no center of, it is a lighter colored headliner. It's kind of like a grayish color. It's the best way to describe it. But other than that, that's everything for the top. Now that we're done over the interior on the Camry, let's quickly get into pricing. So this all-wheel drive Camry and the LE package stickers for about $27,000 for any type of market adjustment, which, I mean, I feel like that's actually pretty good value for an all-wheel drive, bigger sized sedan. So the car that's probably going to be like the biggest competitor is going to be the Subaru Legacy in this market, right? So in terms of pricing, they're actually pretty similar but it's just Toyota versus Subaru. So it depends on which engine and which brand style and everything that you like more. So, hmm, interesting. Let's take her out and see how she drives. Boom. Ah, oh, where is this dastardly thing? There we go. Talk about visibility in the Camry before we set off. Visibility over the hood, just like any other Camry, pretty good. There's your visibility through both of the mirrors. Then here's your visibility all throughout the rear, solid as always. And that all being said, well, let's set off. Well, we are setting off in the all wheel drive Camry and see how this goes. So initially setting off, first off going over the road noise and the ride quality. It's really smooth. It feels just like any other Camry. So nothing seems to have changed from that. In terms of the noise that comes through, it sounds about the same as well. Like I'm not really noticing a difference between this and the regular Camry that doesn't have all-wheel drive. It seems like it's pretty much all the same. Now, in terms of just the overall feel of the car with the steering and everything, and I totally forgot to set my mirror, whoops. It's pretty good actually, so the steering, definitely a little bit of vagueness it's kind of like every single toyota i i don't think i've ever driven a toyota besides the supra which is basically a bmw actually the 86 i take that back well but that's also kind of like a subaru so why can't toyota make like a car by themselves that has steering that's not super light it's okay like this steers really well it's just not super direct that's all i'm saying <laughs> And from the handling perspective, it's it's really good. It actually corners pretty flat for what it is, right? Take that into account again for what it is. Um, but yeah, that's like kind of like the initial driving with the Camry. Well, let's get our acceleration here. Boom. Man, I wish they put the V6 with this all wheel drive. That would be cool. So in terms of acceleration, I mean, you guys heard the power figures. It's pretty good. It feels about the same as the four banger legacy. Feels about the same. Now you, um, obviously there was the 3.6 R legacy. Now that definitely quicker than this, but four banger to four banger, acceleration feels, it, I've, I've actually, I'd say the legacy is a little bit quicker. Now I'm thinking about it, legacy definitely feels a little bit quicker. No, 
I take that back. I know I'm going back and forth. This is hard for me to decide. If you get the naturally aspirated four banger, they're about the same. Obviously, if you get the turbocharged four banger, the legacy's quicker. They need to throw the V6 in this. That's all I'm trying to say. That's what my mind is trying to say. They need to throw the V6 in this. End of story. That's all I'm saying. But other than that, it's a really solid car. The four banger is going to get better fuel economy. So, what I'd say overall, Toyota did an amazing job by adding all-wheel drive to the Camry. Makes this car way more capable. Makes it so like in a place in like here in Utah where it snows for half the year, can actually drive this car, not have issues. Front-wheel drive does okay in the snow. All-wheel drive is far superior. So I think it's a really good package. I think it's definitely worth looking into. I think Toyota did a really good job. All that Toyota needs to do now, throw the V6 with the all-wheel drive, and the world will be happy. World peace will be achieved. I don't know, but it's a cool car. Done. And there we have it, everyone. The 2020 Toyota Camry with all-wheel drive. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to Brent Brown Toyota for providing us with the Camry. Check out their inventory in the link below. And as always, ask for Pickle Rick.